types of angles. Angles are classified on the basis of their measure. Acute angle. An angle which measures less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. Angle XOY measures 30 degree. So it is an acute angle. Example, angles 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 80 degree and so on are all acute angles. Right angle. An angle which measures 90 degree is called a right angle. Angle POQ measures 90 degree. So it is a right angle. Obtuse angle. The angle measuring more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is an obtuse angle. Angle APC measures 120 degree. So it is an obtuse angle. Straight angle. The angle which measures 180 degree is called a straight angle. Angle MLN measures 180 degree. So it is a straight angle. Reflex angle. An angle more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called a reflex angle. Angle X is a reflex angle since it is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Complete angle. An angle which measures 360 degree is called a complete angle. Angle Y is a complete angle. Chapter 6 Angles Point A point is the smallest shape in geometry. A point has no length and no breadth. Points are represented by capital letters such as A, B, C and O. Line A straight figure having no end points is called a line. A line is represented by two capital letters such as AB, XY and PQ. The points AB, XY and PQ are selected to name the line. The arrows on both ends show that the line can be extended to any length in both directions. The lines are written as line AB, line XY and line PQ. Ray. Ray is a part of a line with an originating point. It means a ray has one fixed end point and extends to other direction endlessly. The ray is written as ray OP, where O is the originating point and P is another point taken to name the ray, but the line extends beyond P to any length. Line segment. A line segment is a part of a line which has two definite endpoints. XY is a line segment. Line segment XY is represented as line segment XY. Now let us study the differences between line, ray and line segment. Line has no end point, has an infinite length. Length cannot be measured, represented as AB. Ray has one end point, has infinite length in one direction. Length cannot be measured, represented as AB. Line segment has two end points, has definite length. Length can be measured, represented as AB. Parallel, perpendicular, intersecting lines and coplanar lines. Parallel lines. Two lines on a plane surface which never meet each other are called parallel lines. The distance between parallel lines always remains same. Lines PQ and RS will never meet because the distance between these two lines is the same at every point. So lines PQ and RS are parallel. Parallel lines are represented as line PQ parallel to line RS. Example of parallel lines, railway tracks, the edges of ruler or scale and blackboard. Intersecting lines. When two or more lines meet each other at a point, the lines are called intersecting lines. Lines QT RU and PS intersect at point O. The lines QT, RU and PS are called intersecting lines. All of them meet at point O. Point O is called the point of intersection. Perpendicular lines. When two lines, rays or line segments intersect each other at right angle, that is 
they form a 90 degree angle with each other. Then the lines are called perpendicular lines. Lines PQ and RS meet at point T and form an angle of 90 degree at the meeting point. So, lines PQ and RS are perpendicular lines. Rays OX and OY meet at point O and form an angle of 90 degree at point O. So, OX and OY are perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular lines are represented as Lines PQ is perpendicular to line RS. Ray OX perpendicular to OY. Example of perpendicular lines, walls of a room, adjacent edges of a rectangular tank, adjacent edges of a table, etc. Coplanar lines. Two lines lying on a same plane are called coplanar lines. Line XY and RS are coplanar lines. Angle. Two rays having a common end point form an angle. Two rays OP and OQ are meeting at a common point O. The gap between rays OP and OQ is the angle X. Angle is represented as types of angles. Angles are classified on the basis of their measure. Acute angle. An angle which measures less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. Angle XOY measures 30 degree. So it is an acute angle. Example, angles 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 80 degree and so on are all acute angles. Right angle. An angle which measures 90 degree is called a right angle. Angle POQ measures 90 degree. So it is a right angle. Obtuse angle. The angle measuring more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is an obtuse angle. Angle APC measures 120 degree. So it is an obtuse angle. Straight angle. The angle which measure 180 degree is called a straight angle. Angle MLN measures 180 degree. So it is a straight angle. Reflex angle. An angle more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called a reflex angle. Angle X is a reflex angle since it is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Complete angle. An angle which measures 360 degree is called a complete angle. Angle Y is a complete angle.